innovative teaching and learning is happening all over the globe. So fasten your seatbelts and put your chairs in their upright position. And most importantly, turn on all electronic devices because the ITM is ready for takeoff. This episode of the Infinite Thinking Machine is sponsored by Q, the K-12 High Speed Network, and the San Francisco School of Digital Filmmaking. Woohoo! Bangalore, Beijing, Boston, Bloomington, you name it. Innovative teaching and learning is happening all over the world. Arvind Gupta is a toy maker in India who specializes in making toys from trash. Arvind's website has over 200 step-by-step -step instructional videos to help students make things such as balloon-powered rockets and fan sprinklers, and my personal favorite, the toothpaste pump. Now, Arvin's videos have been translated into over a dozen languages, making them accessible to teachers and students all over the globe. And for that, Arvin and his team win our coveted Propeller Head Award. I mean, there's this guy in India, and he's got these computers in the wall, and it's crazy. Kids in some of the poorest communities, India and Africa and Asia, and you give them access to these computers, and at first it looks kind of strange. They see them, and they're not really sure what's there, but pretty soon they bring their friends over, and they notice that on one of the TVs, there's this biology lesson happening. So kids gather around it, and they look at it, and there's mitosis is going on. And they start to realize, they see the patterns, and they start to teach one another, and pretty soon, Kids are teaching kids, and they realize no adults were there at all. And the results are staggering. Kids are performing better on tests, they're interacting with one another and building community. Dr. Mitra calls this minimally invasive education, but in reality, it's pure genius. This is how kids learn. They learn from one another in a community. All we have to do is provide them the tools. So that got me thinking. If we could put a hole in every wall, in every school in America, what would we fill it with? Maybe, mmm, or or even better. What if kids were actually empowered to be the change they wish to see in the world? That is exactly what's going on in the Design for Giving contest at the Riverside School in India. You have got to see what some of these kids are up to. Hi, my name is Jasiji. I'm Bhavya Shavastav, and we are from the Riverside School. We are sure you are aware of the Design for Giving School contest that the entire nation will be participating in. The first step in the toolkit is to feel. Here the students of Riverside realize that some street children cannot afford a meal. The students are truly moved by this site and decide to work towards this cause. So the students decide to come back and start with the second step. Imagine. The students start thinking and brainstorming of different ideas to solve this issue. The Riverside students come up with the idea to partner with an organization that collects dal and money that will be given to street children. The third step is to implement the idea. So go and do. Step four is to share. You need to spread the circle of influence by spreading awareness about the change you made and how you did so. We are hoping by the end of this, everyone can come together and be the change. So come on America, what are you waiting for? If the Riverside School in India can do it, let's get cracking. You are the change we wish to see in the world. 60% of all Koreans have a college degree. China has national standards for critical thinking and problem solving. Singapore has crazy math skills. And Finland is... Finland. What does all of this mean for US education? Let's get hacking. If you listen to the press, you'd think the U.S. educational system was at the bottom of the barrel. But don't be fooled. While many top performing countries are doing better on achievement tests, many of those tests focus on industrial age content knowledge that's less relevant in today's world. Believe it or not, the U.S. is still leading the way in helping students learn collaboration, creativity, critical thinking, and communication skills. The problem is we're not moving fast enough to make this the norm in everyday instruction. While there are pockets of innovation all over the country, for every New Tech Network, Expeditionary Learning, or Science Leadership Academy, we still have thousands of schools that are trying to catch up to South Korea's mastery of 20th century skills. And the world has started to take notice. 
While U.S. education leaders debate how to measure teacher effectiveness, states slowly march towards opt-in national standards and software developers give us drill and kill digital learning apps. Other countries are making big strides with 21st century skills and teacher collaboration. And often, they're sending their best and brightest educators right here to the most innovative schools and teachers in the U.S. So you truly want to hack the U.S. educational system? Follow their lead by learning from your amazing colleagues in your own backyard. Once a month, go visit at least one innovative teacher in your school, district, or state. The innovation is there. We just have to do a little research to find it, or at least follow our international friends when they come to visit. Speaking of which, I recently tagged along with some friends from Singapore on their visit to an amazing high school. Hi, my name is Hon Man. Uh, we are from Singapore. We are here to visit the urban school. And I'm Chu Ling. Let's go in. vocabulary learn this lesson and the students are creating a sentence and then now I'm going to read this. the rating of each sentence at the, at the end and there's this student this, this kid got 21 and the five is positive and then this one they married yeah so we got 17 rating and six is positive you can like rate other sentences on how good they are. Our teacher's gonna rate them bad if you have like English writing and no characters or the characters wrong. Yeah. What does that mean? Meaning, uh, do you want a pen? I have two. <laughs> so do you think this is helping you um, with your Mandarin? Yeah, definitely. Really? Definitely. Why, why do you like doing it with Quizlet? Um, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. And to do it with friends, I guess. So. The social part? Yeah. That's it for this episode of the ITM. Detailed show notes can be found at infinitethinking.org and please don't forget to ping us on Twitter if you have any thoughts or ideas you would like us to share. It's a small world we live in and we're glad to have you along for the ride. I am the Infinite Thinking Machine. We are the Infinite Thinking Machine! Yay! <laughs> you are the Infinite Thinking Machine!